Hello, and welcome to a cating analysis that goes between me and another player. This was a cating competition between me and a player named Flyboy, and in this episode we will go through two games in two separate parts to show you how I act, react, and the mentality that goes through each cade that I create. This competition was based off whose cade would last longer. Fortunately, since there's no way to create a proper cading competition with a short amount of time, we decided that this would be the way to mark whose cade was better. Today, I will show you Game 1. Game 1 Game 1 takes place on ZS underscore high school. This means there's an abundance of props that are really strong, and making a cade would be relatively easy. As soon as the game starts, I get to nailing the props to the wall to make sure I'm organized. The props I have are relatively strong, and due to certain players on, I decide instead of making a straight angled cade, I'll make an angled one to ensure that melee has more of a room to hit zombies. Oh yep. no no, not that news. But um, yeah, that happened. Um, uh, well, Nemo was talking to me, apparently soon I'm gonna have my interview to be more. You're not getting mod yet, you're getting sun? You're not getting mod yet, you're just getting interviewed. Getting interviewed. Ah. Uh. Why is TWL even a candidate? That is my question. Why is he a candidate? Fair. The, like the entire I mean the entire community despises him. We wanna give him I gotta be a shot to yeah. That power over everyone, like, that makes zero sense. After organizing the props in the room and going AFK for a bit, I go searching for other props. Since the starting zombies are all bots, I can safely go prop hunting without being picked as a zombie. Unfortunately, I didn't get the props that I wanted and I went back ready to Cade. I nailed on my base prop and body check, and since I can pass through, I did not place down my base prop correctly and I have to unnail it. Once I finally get the angle that I want without being able to walk through, I decide to begin on creating the top. I like to imagine that's how Guts laughs without anybody listening. He turns off his microphone music. No, and he, he laughs like on. fucking that's, flights that's a bad trait. That's a bad, that's a bad trait to self, uh, self project. Come back here, sweetie. I'll heal you. I'll How am I self projecting? That's a fucking awesome thing to do. Here, I try to get the top down in a way that it creates a V shape. Unfortunately, due to the nail radius and the height of the roof, I couldn't nail it down. So the next best thing was to nail it angled to the wall. I do this because of two reasons. The first is that it's easier to replace like this with a variety of props versus straight line top props, which can be a lot more precise in what props you can use to replace with. The second reason is that angling the props is a lot easier for me to deal with, and that if the base prop goes down, I already have a frame of reference of where I should put down the new base prop. I then body check to ensure that zombies cannot pass through and start layering my props. I use the bookshelf on top as they are thinner and have more HP than the filing cabinet, and I make sure to quad nail them all down. Yo, Magic Swap, why am I not a contestant for this? That's my question. <laughs> Guts. Conflict of interest, I'm probably the most unbiased person on here besides about shields. That's it's not a TV game show. You're not a contestant. Jeopardy. You might win two bucks. Give him a chance. My man's my man's thinking becoming mod is like playing wipeout. Oh, I'm gonna wipe. I'm gonna wipe out a lot of the degenerates on the server. You know, he you, you just sounded like Dark Solos when he got. He said the exact same 
exact same thing. Bro, that's I'm not a meta, that's I'm done weird. that man. You're on your own, boy. After layering the top, I start adding my filing cabinet to the bottom. However, there's one mistake I make. Can you guess what it is? I'll give you 10 seconds as this one is pretty easy to recognize. The answer is that the third bookshelf is too low, and that if humans want to move around while zombies are nest swapping to each side, that means if they're on this side, they have to crouch, and that could potentially reduce DPS. Afterwards, I go to my opponent's cave to see what they're doing. I see that they have a really nice bottom, however the top is badly done with only one thin prop hugging the wall. Now, it is the end of the wave, and since wave 1 is the safest way for humans to push out, I go to the rift to gain some nails. After returning back, I make sure to add extra layers and realign to the best of my ability. Oh yeah, no boss. Flyboy, listen. That's cool. You need to, you need to turn on fucking. Prop he, snap, does, he doesn't have prop step on. I knew it. I knew it. Turn I knew it, it on it. to 15 degrees. Actually, give me a I hammer. I knew it. By the, by the way, by the way, I seen him paid. I just knew that he didn't have prop snap on. It looks so, so weird. I will only help A. Um, so just may this be fair. Uh, fair. Afterwards, I TP to my opponent's Cade and see that he changed his top prop, however it's still single nailed and really close. Now, let us skip to wave 3 where things begin to start getting interesting. I focus firstly on repairing because I do not have nanite battery, therefore it is my top priority for now. Also make sure to max out my repair fuel to ensure extra repairs and get the trinkets blueprint and fuel charger. Blueprint increases the flat rate of repairs and on max it also potentially gives you pulse ammo which can go into feeding your repair fields. Field Charger, on the other hand, helps decrease the delay between when repair fields activate and help repair your props. For most of this wave, I spend time repairing, DPSing, and replacing any prop when necessary. That took my joke. Damn it. Fuck you. That's very aggressive. Toxic. I said insane. Oh. I don't care. Now, let us skip to a point in wave 4 as zombies are barreling down at my cade. I have to swap my priorities from repairing to replacing and to make matters worse, I use a banana battery to in an attempt to make sure my props stay alive and don't die without any repairs, but that didn't seem to do enough. Oh, 
car. With the death of C, I take game 1 as my barricade has lasted longer. Once the prop transponder started printing thinner props, I decided to use them, the car doors here, over the cabinets due to them being thinner and being able to stack them easier. Fucking medic in this fucking sigil, bro. Hey, medic dog. Are you guys fucking serious? You guys fucking suck. Yep, nobody wants the medic. medic. Nobody wants the medic. We literally suck at this All game. Right. Nobody is good at this game. Fortunately, due to lack of medics and DPS at this point, it is over, unfortunately. Nobody's fucking healing. I try to replace and get hit by a bunch of zombies and die. Sometimes the human team, especially with a bad human to zombie ratio or with not enough DPS, aren't able to get stall for time and get their builds online. But at the end of it all, my Cade lasted longer than my opponents. That's the end of game one. In the next episode, which is the final game in the series, I show how I adapted the zombie team deliberately targeting my Kate over my opponents to try and make me lose. That's it for now, and I'll see you next time. KB, out.